Okay, so we now have more news about Kevin Spacey. Um, yeah, for people who aren't aware, Kevin Spacey is a bit of a freak. Good morning for Manhattan Federal. Kevin Spacey has entered court in his sex misconduct case. How is it playing a serial killer? Any comment today? Oh, he's so creepy. He's super creepy. She says, so, while we were in court regarding a jurisdictional proceeding, charges came down against Spacey. We did not know this per no phones in the courtroom. At um, J. Russ underscore J. Russ let us know, we asked Spacey whether he had any comment on what happened in the UK hall. He declined to comment. To say this is a day is an understatement. In court to cover Spacey in civil suit while inside, he's hit with criminal charges in the UK. Had to leave for train to Virginia for Johnny Depp, Amber Heard closings, forgot contact solutions, so might seek contacts and ho soak contacts in hotel cups with water. That's creepy. I miss the contacts you could sleep in and just leave in for a week. Those were great. Or just wear glasses, you know? like a normal person, but what she's talking to is this. Actor Kevin Spacey hit with sexually assaulting three men, UK prosecutors say. The charges follow a review of the evidence gathered by the Metropolitan Police in its investigation, Britain's Crown Prosecution Service said. Actor Kevin Spacey has been charged with sexually assaulting three men in the UK from 2005 to 2013, Britain's Crown Prosecution Service said Thursday. Spacey 62, quote, has been charged with causing a person to engage in penetrative SA without consent. The charges follow a review of the evidence gathered by the Metropolitan Police in its investigation. Rosemary uh, Ansley, head of the CPS Special Crime Division, said in a statement. Two of the alleged assaults happened in March 20, uh, 2005 in London against one person, the statement said. Another alleged assault happened in London in August of 2008. The alleged sexual activity without consent, also in August 2008, was reported by the same alleged victim. I have one more on Spacey from the New York Times. And um, everybody, I will put the links to all three of what we just looked at uh, in the video description. Kevin Spacey facing SA charges in Britain. British prosecutors said that they had authorized criminal charges against Mr. Spacey, 62, for four counts of SA. He cannot be formally charged unless he enters England or Wales. Uh, what? I'm sorry, but was he knighted by the Queen at one point? I know he was hanging out with Gillen Maxwell and Prince Andrew sitting in, like, the Queen's royal chairs in Buckingham Palace. He was given some special award by the Queen. The British authorities have authorized criminal charges against Kevin Spacey on four counts of essay against three men. The country's Crown Prosecution Service announced in a news release on Thursday. Rosemary Ansley, head of the service's special crime division, said in the release Mr. Spacey, 62, had, quote, also been charged with causing a person to engage in penetrative essay without consent. The authorization of charges followed a review of the evidence collected by London's police force. Mr. Spacey cannot be formally charged unless he enters England or Wales. A spokesman for the service said in a telephone interview. The spokesman declined to comment on whether the service would pursue extradition proceedings if that did not occur. The news release said the charges concerned three complainants. The incident stated from March 2005, August 2008, and April 2013. It added, a time when Mr. Spacey was artistic director of the Old Vic Theatre in London. All of the incidents occurred in London except one from 2013, which occurred in Gloucestershire, England. The Metropolitan Police said that one of the men was now in his 40s and that the other two were now in their 30s, but did not provide their exact ages. Representatives for Mr. Spacey did not immediately respond to requests for comment. 
The first person to publicly accuse Mr. Spacey of sexual misconduct was the actor Anthony Rapp, who said in 2017 that Mr. Spacey had made unwanted sexual advances toward him in the 1980s when he was just 14 years old and thus a minor. Soon after that, a former television anchor came forward to accuse Mr. Spacey of essaying her son, and then 20 people who worked with Mr. Spacey at the Old Vic Theatre in London, where he was artistic director for 11 years, accused him of inappropriate behavior. The theatre commissioned an independent investigation which Mr. Spacey did not take part in, and issued a report that concluded that, quote, his stardom and status at the Old Vic may have prevented people, and in particular junior staff or young actors, from feeling that they could speak up or raise a hand for help, unquote. The report said that the theater had not been able to independently verify the allegations. But some actors and members of the staff did go public. One actor, Roberto uh, Cavazos wrote on Facebook that he, quote, had a couple of nasty encounters with Spacey that were close to being called harassment, unquote, at the theater. Quote, it seems that it only took a male under 30 to make Mr. Spacey feel free to touch us, unquote, Mr. Uh, Cavazos wrote. Representatives of the Old Vic said that they could not comment on the ongoing criminal proceedings. In 2018, Mr. Spacey was charged with the sexual assault of the television anchor's 18-year-old son in Nantucket, Massachusetts. Prosecutors dropped the case when the accuser invoked the Fifth Amendment and refused to continue testifying. Yes, was that person threatened? A massage therapist sued Mr. Spacey in California in 2019, accusing him of groping and trying to kiss him before offering him oral sex during a massage. The accuser died unexpectedly ahead of the trial. Oh, what a coincidence. And the case was dismissed when his estate dropped the lawsuit. Mr. Spacey is the two-time Academy Award winner. He won the Best Actor Oscar in 2000 for his work in American Beauty. And in 1996, he won Best Supporting Actor for The Usual Suspects. He was also a prominent stage actor, winning a Tony Award in 1991 as a featured actor in Lost in Yonkers. And he was the host of the Tony Awards in 2017. But he had a rapid fall from grace after the accusations by Mr. Rapp, who has an ongoing lawsuit against him, which were followed by more accusations. TV and film producers started dropping Spacey from projects after Mr. Rapp went public and more allegations followed, including from the Netflix political drama House of Cards, which finished its run without the actor. But more recently, he has found roles in small films, including an Italian feature and an American thriller. In January, Croatian newspapers reported Mr. Spacey was shooting a movie in the country in which he played Franjo Trudman, the one-time communist general who led Croatia to independence. This month, Deadline reported that he had signed up for a historical drama called a 1242 Gateway to the West scheduled to start shooting in Hungary and Mongolia in October. The movie would tell the story of one of Genghis Khan's grandsons. It was being sold at the Keynes Film Festival, Deadline added. His new American thriller was also being sold at Keynes, according to Rolling Stone. Oh, isn't that lovely? Isn't that nice. So what do you guys think of these allegations? What do you think of Kevin Spacey? Do you believe that Mr. Spacey is a sexual predator? Do you find it strange that um, cases against him were being dropped, that someone's invoking the Fifth Amendment, that somebody else dies right before their trial is supposed to occur? Um, is that not suspicious? Or is it just a coincidence? You know, I like to hear from you guys, so make sure that you leave a comment um, and make sure that you like, subscribe, and share the video. Uh, all of the links will be included in the video description.